A world-class research facility right here in Alaska, hosting scientists from all over the country and the world this week for a research campaign. Sarah Tewksbury traveled to Gucana to learn more about the research they are conducting at this controversial site known as HARP. Scientists from around the states, as well as Norway, flew up to Alaska to stay in the remote community of Gucona. It allows us to turn the industry into a laboratory. Home to a research facility and known for its 180 antennas, the high-frequency active auroral research programs site flashes red lights while radar watches for planes and scientists man the operations center, but otherwise quiet. Although it may not look like much is happening behind me, these 180 antennas are currently transmitting radio signals up into the highest portion of the atmosphere, known as the ionosphere. This facility is the most powerful one of its kind in the world. The loudest part of this research being conducted is the locomotive-sized engines powering the antennas. You can hear the power go up and down as the experiments are ongoing sending waves of signals up into the atmosphere. The HARP allows us to study the way the radio waves interact with the ionosphere, and radio waves are important for our modern society for communication, navigation, and radar. Once owned by the Department of Defense, the University of Alaska Fairbanks now runs the facility, only one of four in the world, focused on the research. So this is the HARP control room. This is where the experiments for uh, a campaign are programmed, and. Uh, and this is where the, those experiments are run. It's One visiting researcher explains how he uses HARP to study the way that the ionosphere can interrupt GPS communications. I can mimic nature and understand more of that and construct ways of kind of mitigating the impact that that has on positioning systems and navigation. But the university also has another job they have to focus on, dispelling conspiracy theories. We have open house once a year. We, we do a lot on, on, on Facebook and, and, and out there to let people know that, you know, Here's what we're doing, it's all about science. Dozens of publications and even a book have been written about the conspiracies believed to be involved with HARP. I wish people had a better understanding of what radio waves uh, cannot do. They cannot manipulate the weather, they cannot create earthquakes, for example. They even made a point to post on Twitter stating that they weren't involved in the November 30th earthquake that happened in Anchorage. McCoy doesn't think the university's efforts will ever fully dispel the conspiracy theories. No matter how many open houses we have, no matter how many times we bring people in to show them every little thing, there. There'll always be uh, some people who, who want to believe that there's something, something strange happening. While wanting to put these theories to rest, we were still limited on where we could film. The scientists are focused on conducting their research without any distractions. This expensive, powerful research facility only has a few campaigns a year. This is Sarah Tewksbury reporting.